Which of the following is true? A. The object increases its velocity. B. The object decreases its velocity. C. The object's velocity stays unchanged. D. The object stays at rest. Or E. More information is required. The first thing to do when doing a problem like this is to determine what type of graph you're given. So we're given a position versus time graph. And now you notice that almost all of the choices are involving velocity. Say uh, velocity, velocity, velocity stays at rest, while E says more information is required. E won't be an answer unless all four of these other ones are wrong. So how do we determine if these are right or wrong, any of these choices? So we have to somehow determine the velocity from this graph. You would remember that velocity is equal to change in position over the change in time. So we go to our graph and pick two points along this line, say this one and this one here. And now we write down this as our final position. So our x final is 40 meters at a time of 8 seconds. Our initial position here is equal to 0 meters and the initial time is 0 seconds. If we now calculate out what our velocity is, also, also the slope of this graph, we would see that our velocity is equal to 40 meters minus 0 meters over 8 seconds minus 0 seconds, which would give us 40 meters over 8 seconds, or velocity of 5 meters per second. So this tells us that we have a velocity of 5 meters per second, and we notice that the slope of this graph is not changing, so this is also a constant 5 meters per second. So the it question now part A says the object increases its velocity. Well, we just proved here that our velocity is 5 meters per second. And because the slope is unchanging, the velocity also does not change. So A is wrong. Likewise, B is wrong because it dictates that our velocity is decreasing. But we have already stated that it is constant. So that's also wrong. Choice C says velocity stays unchanged. This is true. Our velocity is constant. It's not going to be changing as it's moving along. Now, choice D states that the object is at rest, but we have a non-zero velocity, so it's moving, it's not at rest. And E says more information is required. That's in a case of when you're not given the proper amount of information in order to deduce a proper answer. But in this case, we can, so our answer is C.